BC here. Hi guys and gals, especially gals today. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, what would we be? Pull out the old cliche. Where and what will we be without mothers? Well, you know the answer. And I'm not even going to try and answer it for you. But you know. Ah, we, at least I would say 99.9% .9 of us all appreciate our mothers. And so that's really why I wanted to say a great happy Mother's Day. This is where I'm walking around. Usually was walking around with, with the dog. So over there. Yeah, so this was one part of my Sunday morning no dog vlogs. It was one of the, I'm gonna say I'm looking being checked pretty, oh, scrutinized pretty heavily over there. There's one of the, uh, one of the local drunks. And it's probably, he's up early this morning. Anyway, I wasn't gonna talk about him, but I didn't wanna go his way. He, He's one of the few that, most of them are friendly, but this guy, he's okay, but he doesn't seem to be, you know, he's still over there looking towards me. Anyway, so let's continue. Yeah, so it's one of these Sunday morning no dog vlogs, but I took the same path as uh, I usually would if I was with Dago. Now, uh, mothers. Yes, we had our Mother's Day meal uh, yesterday. Uh, the boys weren't able to make it. That's the thing when you start to have extended families and other mothers come into play. So anyway, we uh, we uh, didn't uh, didn't matter for us if it was going to be Saturday or on the Sunday as such. So we made a meal on Saturday. I made uh, falafels, and I like to be able to show you what they look like, but I can't. My family was overjoyed. No, the falafels were really good. They're like. Uh, small balls of chickpeas and different spices and herbs that you fry and then you put them into I've used Lebanese bread which is it's you could use pita bread because basically you cut it in half and there's a pocket in the middle and you make sandwiches with that you crush up those little balls and you put you know whatever tomatoes I put made a tahin sauce which is like a the equivalent of the sesame peanut butter but you use it's like a liquid sauce. Anyway, I made a sauce and yogurt sauce and so on. And uh, you make sandwiches and with those and we had a salad, a nice salad beside that and so on. And uh, we were having a lot of fun talking and laughing a lot and I didn't get out the camera. And then at one point when everything was almost put away, I thought, oh, that's out of character, isn't it? Must be that that was why that they were so happy and smiling. And of course, not one person <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> but you know, they weren't they weren't being mean. They just didn't judge myself. They didn't even notice it. But I'm surprised in a way that I didn't get any remarks like, "Where's your camera?" <laughs> anyway, oh, it was a good it was a good time. Mrs. DC is actually still still sleeping, and so I slipped out for the Sunday morning uh, no dog vlog yeah it was good mm -hmm. you know there's a let me see how many minutes can I see that quickly uh, four minutes okay I can slip this one in it seems I think it's four minutes anyway um, it's funny because uh, we're talking about Mother's Day and I read one of these articles yes another article uh, in, in labs where they have been noticing the difference in in rodents uh, for stress tests or anti-stress tests if uh, the lab personnel is a uh, female or male and uh, the uh, lab personnel very often um, well when they make the meta-analysis uh, they, they noticed that when the lab personnel, when they were able to track back and find out, is that the, uh, the tests usually work better uh, or seem to be, have more efficacy 
if the lab personnel was female. In other words, once again, us bad males uh, render stress and create uh, an environment that is less conductive to uh, the efficacy of the treatment. Isn't that nice? Once again, it's our fault. Well, they've done some, they've, seems that they did some crossover tests where I guess they put uh, t-shirts that the ladies had been wearing on the men and kind of trick the animals and it works partially. It's not a complete crossover, I guess. But the thing is, though, when you look at that, as I was saying, if you make a meta-analysis, which is basically analyzing data uh, that was already published over the years, if you were able to always cross-reference and see which the proportion, you know, of uh, males to females that were the lab technicians, we might find that a lot of the data uh, is false or only partially right. Now, of course, that makes a big difference, especially on st these stress-related drugs. I mean, in some cases, they might actually be work better than we think because there's not the additional stressor, because I guess that was it. But it, but it does say something, though. If there's an additional stressor, and I guess caused by, I guess the male, in, the, in this case, the male call them pheromones or whatever you want to call them the male presence created like a, an aggression or something anyway I won't get into that very much just once more to say that it seems that once again we need those women <laughs> DC signing off take care and happy Mother's Day once again to all of you and well, to all the others, have a great day. Bye-bye.